Hello everyone. I would love to talk to you today about prayer. I always say prayer is one of the most powerful things in the world, that it can move mountains. And a lot of the time, some people would say to me, they don't pray at all. But I don't believe that. I believe all of us do pray and we pray at different times. Sometimes it can be like a thought that comes across our mind because we are worried about someone and we say to ourselves, I hope they get well or I must go and visit them. Or we're worried about a pet, you know, our dog or someone else's or, you know, a farm animal and just that thought within our mind, within our subconscious, you know, speaks. And that's a prayer. Or even when we think of sending, you know, flowers to someone because they're not well. Those flowers are a prayer as well, because you're sending them with love. There is so many different ways that we pray. And I think we don't even recognize it. But I do think we need to maybe become that little bit more conscious of prayer if we can. And not to be, what would I say, afraid of others when they pray. You know, because I think that is one thing that so many religions have they all pray in a different way. And it's like, you know, if you don't pray like me, then I'm afraid of you. But the thing is about prayer. How could I say this? It doesn't matter what you believe or which religion or faith you belong to. Or even if you say, I don't belong to any religion or faith. When you think a positive thought for someone else, for good for someone else, that is a prayer. You know, even when you're planting a plant in the soil and you suddenly say, even within your mind, I want this beautiful plant to grow strong. That is a prayer. There is so many prayers we say and we are unaware of. But there is so many prayers we can say that we know of. I always remember, I don't know what country I was in. And I just, what would you say? I was just enjoying myself. I, I was out and about and walking around and and all of a sudden I was passing, you know, this building and I could hear people in prayer. And the angel said to me, Lorna, go in. And I wanted to pray because it, it, I find when people are praying, I'm attracted to it or attracted to them. And I remember going through the doors as quietly as I could because I knew people were praying. And when I went in there, I stayed in the back. I stood at the back and I just started to pray. And one thing I remember, just seeing all the angels of prayer, you know, going upwards instead of downwards, like a fountain, you know, like a waterfall, and seeing that light of all those prayers being said. And I just stood there at the back, just praying. Um, it was just a room. And there was men and women I can't remember seeing any children, but mainly men and women, and they were all mixed. And 
some of them were praying out loud. Some of them seemed to be praying quietly. But one of the things I found about their prayer was, and I asked God, you know, what are they praying about? What is it? Because I felt so much, what would you say, within their prayer, so much excitement, so much determination, so much belief. You know, it was powerful. And I suppose the powerfulness of it made it exciting as well. I could feel all of that energy. And, and of course, seeing the angels of prayer as well, you know. And then they started to sing. And that was so beautiful. And then the strange thing that happened was I was just standing there kind of keeping out of the way, joining in the prayer. And suddenly I was noticed. And the power of their prayer changed because their prayer lost love all of a sudden. It was like, how dare you pray with us? Who are you? And they didn't even ask, you know, but how would I say, I asked God at that moment, why should they be afraid of me because I stood there praying with them, but not in the same way as they were praying. And Archangel Michael said, because they are afraid of the way you pray. And I remember that just touching my heart because I couldn't understand. And even today, I can't understand that either. And I have found that, you know, with so many different faiths, that there seems to be a problem, that we are afraid of each other, of the way we pray. And I would love that to go away because we shouldn't be afraid of the way someone else prays. We should be able to run forth, run in, you know, even if it's a field where people are praying or it's in a building or, you know, the door should always be open that anyone can come and pray, that it doesn't matter um, what faith or what religion you are, or even if you belong to none, even if you say, I don't believe in God, I, I don't believe in any religion, but everyone prays. And we all pray in just different ways. And prayer is extremely powerful. And that day I could feel and I could see how powerful their prayer was. And I asked God to help them and to allow their prayer to be granted. Um, and I always even remember Another time, um, I was, what would you say, I was, um, I was at the airport and I went into the little room that they have where people can go and pray. And when I went in, it was empty. So I just sat down there and I started to pray. And I'd say I was there, you know, maybe 10 minutes praying and I had my eyes closed and I remember other people came in and 
they were praying as well. But again, which was sad, they were all of a different faith. To me, I am of all faiths because it's the one God. So I, I guess I find it hard to understand why we're putting barriers up. But even at that time, there, what would I say? When I had opened my eyes, there was two men standing in front of me and they said, you shouldn't be in here praying with us you should leave. And I felt so sad that they felt that way because I could feel the fear from them as if I would come and contaminate their prayer. But you cannot contaminate prayer. Um, because prayer, no matter what, is going straight to God and the angels are even enhancing our prayer for us and prayer is extremely powerful so I would love and I know it will happen one day when people all come together of all faiths and even of none and you know pray together under the one umbrella I remember being shown that, um, that it would happen in the future and, and seeing it and just seeing, what would I say, you know, the happiness and joy of everyone, of every culture in the world joined together and praying and completely, what would I say, mixed you know, not, what would you say? I don't know whether it's the word segregated. I'm dyslexic, so it's sometimes words are hard to say, but not in groups. They were completely mixed. And watching that and seeing the power of that prayer and, and the joy of it. So I know one day we will get there, but I think we are a long way from it at the moment. But I think it's all up to us to realise that prayer is for us all, you know, and we shouldn't be afraid of each other or the way each other prays. You know, even, um, what would I say? I've just have had so many experiences of where different faiths are, in a sense, a little bit offended by the way someone else prays and even myself in in the sense of you know being brought up here in Ireland and you know sometimes someone would say to me oh but Lorna um, it's only our prayers that are heard you know, someone of another faith, their prayer is not heard. And I would always have to smile and say, you know, everyone's prayer is heard. It doesn't matter what faith you are. And that's why in one sense, I'm, I'm saying I belong to every faith. And I even belong to those that say they don't believe in anything. Because Prayer belongs to us all, no matter what we believe, because we all pray at different times of our lives. There is always something happening that a kind thought comes across our mind or, or we say something that we want good for someone else. It could be that we want them to get well. It could be that I please let them get that job or, you know, please let them be happy. I, I hate seeing someone so sad. And all of these beautiful thoughts that cross our minds, that come into our consciousness, um, they are prayers. 
And again, it's even like, you know, as I said earlier, we give someone a bunch of flowers or, you know, maybe we share or invite them out for a cup of tea or coffee. You know, when we try to cheer someone up, it is because we are feeling for them. And that feeling is a prayer. That feeling of wanting to help, of wanting them to get well, or wanting them for, you know, good things to happen for them, or wanting to take away their pain in some way. That is a prayer. So I would love everyone, as I just say to everyone, you know, prayer can move mountains. You could be standing at your kitchen sink and you can say a little prayer. And I always love to remind people, don't just pray for yourself and your family. I would always say, pray for nature as well, but pray for that stranger. Pray for the person in the world who feels that they're so hurt at the moment that things are so bad that they feel they cannot pray for themselves. You pray for them. So I'm going to leave you now and leave you with all of those thoughts. Don't be afraid of the way someone else prays. Prayer is prayer. If someone walks into somewhere where you are praying and they are not of the same faith as you, Allow them to pray there with you and allow your prayer to be enhanced and become more. Or even invite them to join because we shouldn't be afraid of each other. And I have seen that fear. And it shouldn't be there because we're all brothers and sisters and we all need prayer. We all need to pray for each other because we love each other. I believe we do, even though some people would say no. But I love you and I don't care what you believe in. I love you. So please pray. So I'm going to let you go now and I'm going to say God bless and love you lots. Bye bye.